Hello, my friends. Some of you, my friends, my family members said it and you were right. They came for me after all. They are starting to attack me, but not using facts. Because as we have seen, most of the EFF do not debate, they do not discuss, but they fight. I guess deep down, I knew that they would attack me, guys. And I kind of knew that they would attack using lies and conspiracy theories. But Aish, not these kinds. <laughs> Guess what? We were busy working on a new video that had nothing to do with the EFF, just to give them a break, you see? But after what they did, I had to share this with you guys. So here goes. Please direct your attention to your screen for Exhibit A. So this is a tweet by Lisa the First, and it reads, Meet former failed prostitute, failed YouTuber who has now ventured into politics to speak ill of the EFF and Mr represent what it stands for. Her love for money led her from prostitution to YouTube channels, tried many content, nobody listened, and now politics. We wish her well. So that is the tweet, the attack that I'm telling you about. And I'm just going to go through some of the comments from the people, people that are for this and people that are against it. The first comment is from Mr. Nature Explorer and he says, so prostitutes or former prostitutes don't have rights to voice their opinions about EFF because they'll be reminded of their past? From the very same party that wanted prostitution to be legalized, now that she spoke against the cultist himself, hashtag EFF is a cult. So, <laughs> this person is very right because at some point the EFF were about, hey, let's legalize prostitution and support prostitutes. So if you guys as the EFF, Miss Lisa, are standing for prostitute prostitutes, what is wrong with a former prostitute doing what I am doing right now? And I'm not saying I am a former prostitute, but I'm just saying if I was, what is wrong with that? right? And Lisa's response is, hers are not views, just pure attacks. Can you tell me what makes uh, something a view and what changes it from being a view to being an attack? Because um, I don't know about you, but a lot of what you have done here, a lot of what a lot of EFF supporters do and say and share seem to me like pure attacks. If what I am doing is an attack. But anyway, I'll leave it up to you guys. Another one is from Shaba who says, after all, she still speaks more sense than Julius Malema. And uh, Lisa responds saying, then listen to her wisdom. For sure, you can learn a lot from her, which obviously is sarcasm. Thank you, Shaba. And thank you to Mr. Nature Explorer for responding and saying what you said. The next one is from Sianda Diko Klaba. And Sianda says, I is the truth on what she's saying. And this Lisa person says, what truth? And I'm so, so grateful that there is a person like Sianda and other people like Sianda who see the truth in what we are sharing on this channel. The next person says, did you buy from her prostitution? And what is wrong if she ventures to something different? <laughs> First of all, I was not a prostitute. And for real, if I was a prostitute and I chose to come into uh, YouTube and I chose to direct my YouTube channel to politics, what is wrong with that, right? Because such a comment read by somebody who is a prostitute or who was a prostitute might be so discouraging and kind of hinder them from choosing to pursue something else, right? Socialist at Chris Honey ZA says now everything makes sense. So I'm guessing this person is saying uh, now that it has been revealed that I am a prostitute, everything else that I've been saying suddenly makes sense, right? Um, because only a prostitute or a former prostitute or a failed prostitute would have said the stuff that I have said. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The next comment says, this is typical EFF response. 
insults are compulsory. Oksalayo, she's asking relevant questions. And it's so unfortunate. And I know that this is not representative of every person that is a member of the EFF. But unfortunately, this is something that has um, become expected and typical of a member of the EFF party to instead of you coming and saying what you're saying is wrong because of ABC, what you're saying cannot be acceptable because of this evidence and that evidence, you just resort to insults. And that is so, it doesn't reflect well in you, Lisa. It really doesn't reflect on you, not just Lisa, but everyone else that is on the same boat as Lisa. And what did she say to this? She's not asking questions. She is attacking the EFF for what it stands for. And if I am attacking corruption and that is what you choose to stand for, then I think it deserves attacking. But that's how you want to see it. The next one is a funny one. We have EFF leader Julius Malema with a person, a female, <laughs> sitting on his lap. I don't know if this female is a prostitute. I don't know if she's a lap dancer. I don't know her. I don't know what the relationship and the reason for such a picture was. Um, but Tony Soprano or Sporano said, not a prostitute naming and shaming another prostitute. Co-workers cannot behave like this. <laughs> First of all, Tony uh, Aubrey, I am not a prostitute, but oh, this is a very good picture. I wonder where you got it from, but it's, it's very good evidence, you know, very good evidence. Thank you so much for sharing. And instead of Lisa getting it, she wants to emphasize on the failed, saying, Yena, being me, referring to me, she's a failed one. That's the shameful part. So being a prostitute is not a shameful thing, but being a failed prostitute, which is what she claims I am, that is what is a shameful part. Maybe she should teach prostitutes how not to fail. She seems to know how best to judge between a successful prostitute and a failed one. Anyway, Congratulations on your thriving prostitution from Black Girl with Land. Uh, Kumza, which is K Mtembu, says she can be a Nyaope addict for all I care. She is still smarter than you. Thank you so much, Kumza. Uh, Nyaope, for those who do not know, is one of the drugs that are just everywhere. Well, not everywhere. There are a lot on the streets of South Africa an issue that we really need to discuss, an issue that needs to be dealt with. And how does our friend Lisa respond to that? You are another sentimental fool, Kumza. What you're saying does not come as a surprise. I knew that you were a fool, Kumza. And Kumza says, what? Typical. All you know is insults, right? And that is so... That is so sad. That is so sad for one to be known for insults. You're not known for your intelligence. You're not known for evidence. You're not known for your ability to, you know, have a discussion or a disagreement that, that is respectful. You're known only for insults. So, so sad, Lisa. Kanda wu empty, which translates the head is empty. Someone else says, nothing is stopping you from doing the same. Uh, but Lisa, your response is what? Doing what? I'm not desperate. I wonder, Lisa, what do you do for a living? Hmm. But I, unlike you, I don't have time going around looking at people's Facebook accounts and everything else about their lives, looking for dirt on them. Uh, like how you went looking around to find the picture that you posted there. And because you couldn't find any dirt, you came up with something. So I think actually you are desperate. You're just not desperate um, to be a prostitute, but you're desperate to discredit any person who comes out speaking anything that is against the EFF and its policies and the things that the EFF does. Anyway, Arrested Development said at the end, the EFF isn't your money machine. Just reminding Lisa that you may be doing all of this work, but no payment is coming your direction. Next comment says, Suga, ikini solia baba. Translated, you know, get away here. The truth hurts, right? When they say truth is ugly, are they comparing it to you? 
or comparing it with you. And I think she thinks that she, yeah, she sorted this guy out. She, like, Joe, Joe Celebe, like, I've sorted you out. I've killed you right there by attacking your physical looks instead of attacking the comment that you made. Typical EFF. So Mbumelelo says, these pictures don't show if it was prostitution. I thought you will send videos or something. She couldn't send pictures or videos because there are no videos or pictures of me as a prostitute or anything along those lines. So yeah, but her response is what it is on the screen and I'm not going to read it out loud. There's someone who asked, this is George K. And I think he's really curious, right? He's like, she really was a prostitute. And Lisa, who knows it all, says, it's not her first time trending for wrong reasons. She once made a video talking about her life, 2018 to 2019. Lisa, if you don't mind, as you do more research against me, please get that video, share the link with everyone so that they can see this video that trended in 2018 and 2019. Ovenza says, I thought the mighty EFF is busy pushing for the legalization of prostitution. Now you're already flip-flopping. By already flip-flopping, a lot of people I saw in the comments, they know that the uh, the EFF says one thing and then the next day it's it's something else like they never just stay on the same path they are never consistent if anything they are constantly contradicting what they've said time and time again so, so if you guys are for prostitution if you guys are for advocating for the prostitutes why do you have a problem if I or anyone else was a prostitute let us know Lisa let us know so Offenza continues to say, should we also label Julius as a former corrupt ANC Youth League president? A dom cop who failed matric? Gonna he even failed Sibedi. Next person says, failed actress, BET wannabe, and now professional script reader. Uh, Kavi, Pele Kavi, failed actress, number one, I never wanted to be an actress. Number two, BET wannabe, I wanted to be a presenter. And joining things like BET, getting into competitions, I didn't know that if you try something and you don't succeed at it, that makes you as a human being a failure. Uh, if anything, what I know is that the person who has never failed at anything has never tried anything. You can only uh, achieve um, success at not failing by not trying anything at all. The next comment is from His Excellency and it says, Thank you for this piece of well-researched journalism. You have done the Lord's work here. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for your journalism. Thank you for going on my Facebook, finding an old picture and saying me in a home is me as a prostitute. Well done, lady. Well done to you. Balungile says they are shaming her for allegedly doing the work. Thank you for using the word allegedly, Balungile. Thank you. They are shaming her for allegedly doing the work they claim is real work. What is shameful about sex work if it's real work as they claim? And that's that's so valid what he's saying. You guys as the EFF are saying sex work is good. Prostitution is good. It is real work. So if somebody... Let's say if I chose to be a prostitute, if I chose to get in line with the sex work industry, why should you shame me? That is like being like, why, 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 huh? Uh, let's hear what Lisa the first has to say. The shameful part is failed part. I'm not shaming her because she was a prostitute. I am not shaming her because she did sex work. I am shaming her because she failed. How dare she fail? Failure is a shameful thing. <laughs> and Balungile, you know, add like properly responds saying, you've never failed. You'll never fail. Prove that she was a prostitute because you aren't making any sense. And I've been, you know, this thing was shared with me today at work, like towards the end of the day. And I've been going through the comments and I'm seeing uh, Lisa's responses. And at no point is she proving this prostitution that she claims I was a part of. So great question, Balungile. And until now, we are still waiting for that proof. Julius was too busy fighting for people when he was at school. There was no way 
way he can pass like those he had to protect. He was a protector, this guy. You see, he had no time to be reading books. He had no time to study. He had no time to be listening to the teachers. When you and everyone else was listening to the teacher, like doing their work, doing their classwork, doing their homework and everything, he was fighting for the rest of the class, you see. So he had no time to study. He had no time to pass. So it is okay for you to expect him to fail. It is actually expected for a comrade and a fighter for the people to fail academically because academics is not what they were prioritizing. What they were prioritizing is a safety of the entire class, is the economical freedom of the class. You understand? So the gentleman, Masinga, continues to say, remember, Kosas, unless if you are too young. And... <laughs> B says, our parents fought with our Pitamukaba and Tiro. They never had these excuses regarding their grades. Domkop ki domkop. You can't run away from it. And this person continues to say, you mean Zuma and some of our parents can't give an excuse about their level of education? Hey, say, I understand that you're trying to, you know, fight for Julius Malema and fight for Jacob Zuma and their... Um, level of education. Uh, Bongani comes in and says, Julius Malema grew up watching... <laughs> Julius Malema grew up watching your TV with us. He's a young man. He can't blame the apartheid government for his failure. Thank you. I think this is... He said what I wanted to say here. He, he really put it very well. But Mr. Chippy is not giving up. Chippy ki chippy. I give it up. How about him, miss? Our courses was active during Julia's uh, school times or leadership. I was younger, but I witnessed corporal punishment get defeated. We fired a principal in my school those days. Julia's have been multitasking. He's even getting qualifications now, despite his hard work in politics. All right, Mr. Chippy. All right. Kumza says, what a lame excuse, even by your standards. And I think we've established that the standards differ from person to person, from party to party. But even at EFF's level, that is lame. Lirumo Sichaba Ari. Ish, I find it funny that EFF are trying to shame prostitution now. And Lisa comes in and says, is it a shame? Because I don't think it's a shame. I'm not saying it's a shame. Maybe you guys didn't read it well. And son of Frank, who has been trying to help Lisa with the comments all around all along, says, where is the shaming? You seem to be using words loosely, man. Jay. You are using words loosely. I don't see how Luruma is using words loosely. He's just saying it's funny that you guys are shaming prostitution, prostitution that you once were advocates for. Um, yeah, yeah. Very, very funny what you guys are doing here. No, this has got nothing to do with her being a former prostitute, <laughs> if indeed she was. Thank you for putting the possibility that I may have not been, which I wasn't. You just don't like the fact that she's telling the truth about EFF and its leader. And Homoto Cooks just says, spot on, spot on. Calling her all those names because she told the truth is what Gumeda says. And I am totally with you, Kumete. Limpopo Kosi Rain says, in politics, debate policy, not personal insults. I like EFF and post about EFF policy. This woman prostitution or failure of YouTube won't promote the values of EFF. Debate with her about policy. And this is what I like. This is what I like. I have friends and I have family members that are for the EFF, right? And it is... It's healthy for us to have the conversation about what we believe and which party we think is right and which policies we stand for. But the right way to go about it is to have that conversation, to say, I think EFF is wrong here and I think it is right in this aspect. And we debate it. We help each other see the light or see how much in darkness we have been all this while, right? As we know, sharp um, iron sharpens iron. So you can't just 
say a person is dumb or just assume that what you know and what you understand and what you believe is the right, is the truth, it is fact and, and, and there's nothing that can oppose it. It is not healthy because when you have that type of mentality and mindset, then it is very difficult for you to be corrected even when you really need to be corrected. And when a time comes for you to see that actually I was wrong, you might have you know, been you you might be so addicted to this fighting thing that you fail to humble it you humble yourself to say actually what this brother or what this sister is telling me is the truth. So thank you so much, Limpopo Kosi that you are an EFF supporter, but you are not for this way, Lisa's method of fighting and debating and um yeah, I, I appreciate that. I really, really appreciate seeing EFF supporters who think, who are open-minded and honest, right? Uh, Sabali says, why you sound so bitter? I hope you heal whatever you're going through. Lisa, we all hope you heal, ma'am. We really do. I hope she will issue a list of EFF members who bought sex from her on prostitution. She can't fail to get customers, ne? Lisa, we're still waiting for those clients that I... I, I, I served as a prostitute, so please send it through. Mancha Munareng Are, we all know it's true. So I don't know how this person knows that it's true. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know. No facts, no evidence, no supporting anything. But he knows that it is true. You let us know, Mancha, 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 how you know. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Morekisi Are, she said something that did not sit, sit well with you, ne? Ne, Lisa, I said something that didn't sit well with you. <laughs> As Ramaluko says, you sound pained, and I agree. You really, really do. Sipo Nukeri says, that's, uh, that's pure lie. I know Katlero, and she's a decent lady, and I totally support her on this journey where she tells the truth. She's not a prosty. Uh, you are hurt because she's doing something that hurts EFF, which is backed by facts and evidence. Thank you so much, Sipo. This is a gentleman that I actually went to church with years, years, years ago. Um, and yeah, I think hearing it from someone who knows me, unlike people who act like they know me when they actually don't, um, yeah, that's important. Goons Republic says, plus they say she's from Zimbabwe, so she's a hired gun. I'm not sure who says... Who's from Zimbabwe? Is, am I from Zimbabwe or is Lisa from Zimbabwe? Anyway, um, yeah. Donald says, well, isn't the EFF advocating for legalization of the prostitution? I'm totally with you, Donald. I'm totally with you because that's what I thought as well. But uh, I guess they flip-flop as usual. Malik says, we need to be tolerant of criticism and how we respond to it says a lot about the validity of what is said. I don't know how one becomes a failed prostitute, but sex workers are also voters. Let's play the ball and not the person. And the fact that Lisa and um, the other people that support Lisa fail to take criticism, fail to take what I have said about the EFF in, a, in an objective way to say, is what this girl saying true or false? If it is false, here's the evidence that yes, you're, you're talking nonsense, ma'am. You're lying, ma'am. You're not telling us the truth, ma'am. And if it is true, then go back to the drawing board and say, guys, you know what? When this lady said this, it didn't sit well with me. It gave me some chest pains. And because of that, perhaps we should go back and, and, and see what we can do about this. The fact that we are not happy when somebody speaks about our policies, the fact that we are not happy when somebody speaks about our leader and they're not just speaking but they're speaking with evidence they're speaking about things that are public knowledge then maybe there's something that we're not doing right and maybe this is an opportunity for us to go back you know go sit down and sort some things out you know and another point that Malik raised is that a sex worker is a voter as well. So I don't know what you were trying to do by using that lie. I think, you know what, when you come up with lies, at least come up with lies that do not 
put you in a funny position because I feel like that's what you have done now. You have made it seem as if a sex worker has no right in talking about politics, a current or former sex worker, successful or failed a sex worker, you made it seem like they do not have the right to voice out their opinions regarding our politics, regarding EFF, and that is not a nice thing that you did, Lisa. No, ma'am. No. Last statement from Malik is, let's play the ball and not the person. Absolutely. It's not about me. It's about the things that I'm saying, right? Attack what I'm saying. And just as I have said what I've said and presented evidence, you do the same. Attack what I have said with evidence. You too can start a YouTube channel, ma'am, or anyone else that does not stand with what I'm saying. I am not just saying everybody in South Africa hear what I'm saying and believe everything that I'm saying. Just be gullible and accept it. I've gone to the lengths of doing the research and, and preparing the things properly to ensure that I don't just speak my mind, I don't just speak what's in my heart, but I speak what has evidence. So if what, if the evidence that I have for some other reason is incorrect, bring your evidence, create your TikTok account, create your Twitter uh, thing, account, YouTube, whatever, and say, ma'am, this is wrong. Come yeah, and, and, and get into the comment section and say where and how I am wrong. Okay. Next comment is from uh, Dime Maja. You're just bitter because she talks a huge um, of sense about your master and I couldn't agree more you know Spusiso says EFF minions have a tendency of shaming and insulting anyone who criticizes the EFF they don't put a different argument they just go after the person and that is what you have done and unfortunately instead of going for something that is true in my life you have come and created a lie and a conspiracy theory about me that isn't even true and shame on you ma'am shame on you Black Presidente uh, reposted something that was posted by Mzwane Lemani in 2015 that says the absence of substance in the EFF means its leaders must always come up with something outrageous and irrational just to be top of mind. And we've seen it now with the Springboks. Suddenly, Mr. Uh, my children play rugby, Mr. My children go to an Afrikaans school, Mr. Go Boka, better together, has said bad things about the same spring box, the same rugby, the same Afrikaners. So it's just a matter of coming up with something all the time to trend, something all the time to be top of mind, something all the time to be relevant. And it is so pathetic. It is so sad. And I hope that things change and look better for you guys i really hope you go back to the drawing board and come up with things of substance gopro tears says njalo naledi chira the mp of the cult fought tooth and nail advocating for the legalization of prostitution nina niataga manje for real niataga like are you for it or are you not for it you know Hey, guys. Anyway, Vuzi says, Oksalayo, she's speaking the truth and we all know truth hurts. You as a cult follower, you'd rather insult the person who's opening your eyes than leave the cult. It's understandable. And it is understandable. You know, being in a cult is not an easy thing. We've um, been... We've seen a lot of things. We've seen documentaries. Some of us have been in cults. Some of us have family members that have been in cults. And it's not an easy thing. You try to tell a person you are in a cult. You try to tell a person this is what they are doing. They are brainwashing you. They are doing this to you. And it's hard. It's hard. We do not blame you, Lisa. We do not blame anyone that is on the same boat as Lisa. We hope that one day your eyes open up and you you, you see the light. Like we, we, we. We hope so. We really do. You can easily pick up when someone is funded. She's definitely funded. Uh, Master Akin, I wish I was funded. Um, then I wouldn't have to ask people to donate money <laughs> to help me do this permanently and um, more frequently. I wouldn't ask people to join the membership if I was funded. Um, but since you guys are so good at coming up with tales and stories and going and digging in people's stuff, can you let me know who is funding me? Better yet, just comment then. Just tell everyone who exactly is funding me. 
And I know that I've seen other comments like these, so it's not only to Mr. Master Akin, but everyone else who thinks that I am funded, let me know who is funding me. Andy Lezuma says, how do you know, how do you know, were you working together? For real, how do you know that I was a prostitute? Were we standing at the corner together? Dini Dusty says she speaks more uh, matters than you. Um, I think I'd have to agree. Masha Pacavelo says, all makes sense now. Like, oh man, why haven't I seen this before? Now it makes sense. So everything that I've been saying, guys, if you take it all, all the videos I've made, and you think of me as a prostitute, you're like, it just makes sense. It absolutely makes sense to this gentleman and other people. I don't know how, I don't know how being a prostitute and everything that I've done comes together. I I don't, I don't understand. I do not understand. If you do, please let me know in the comment section below. Sandy Letwala says, Oksala, yonge kengi vote le EFF. He's saying, no matter what, still, I will not vote for the EFF. Mkonza says, what happened to superior logic vulgar has become the rules of engagement to persons with different viewpoints with EFF members. Is this a sign of dictatorship government if they were to assume power? That's an excellent question, Mkonza, because if we are being attacked in this fashion for simply having differing views um, to the EFF or to Julius Malema, the EFF leader, now what, when they are not even in charge, what will happen when we have differing, differing views to you guys if you ever become leaders of this country? Does it mean that uh, you'll now shut us up? Does it mean that you'll arrest us for being prostitutes or whatever new lie and conspiracy theory you're going to come up with regarding us? Is that where we are going if we vote for EFF? I don't know. I don't know, but it kind of looks like it. It kind of looks like it to me. Ingabayam says, typical of EFF supporters, seldom do they engage the substance of the argument, but they attack the person. Antadile says, women versus women. We always talk about how men are oppressing us, about the patriarchy and all of that. But in reality, a lot of times it is women attacking other women. I have done nothing to you. Uh, what's her name? Lisa. I've done nothing wrong to you, Lisa. I don't even know you. I, I've, I've not gone digging your past and everything. You are seeing me doing something that you do not like, something that you may hate, and you choose to attack me. And it's, it's really sad. Ndoweni Malala says, what lies does she tell on her videos? We're still waiting. I think I'm hearing crickets. Well, failed Ndonton got your attention for sure. Yeah, you got the attention that you needed, Lisa. Morale Morale says, you might want to tone that a bit. That Malawian was promoting prostitution a few years ago. That's speaking to Chira, the MP of the EFF. Somebody says, go deeper. Your audacity to shame someone who has turned their life. <laughs> this is so kind. Your audacity to shame someone who has turned their life for the better is the only thing we should be shaming her. Uh, shaming here, not her. Thank you so much, Koket. So uh, this is actually a very kind comment. Like if I was a prostitute at some point and I'm choosing to change my life, I'd be so comforted by this. And anyone else who is coming from a life of prostitution or anything for that matter, and they're choosing to change, this is very comforting. And anyone else that tries to shame that person is a one who ought to be ashamed, not the person changing their life. Way to go, Kogetso. Alan. Oh, Alan. I went to church with Alan as well. Arna, she was never a prostitute. No, I wasn't. Thanks, Alan. Uh, Factor says, but she's putting facts. And what do you say about those facts? Yes, forget that she was a prostitute. What do you say about the facts on the table, Lisa? Tabs Africa says, I knew something is fishy about her because nobody pops up out of nowhere and starts to insult EFF out of nothing. Kanti, she's a failed prostitute YouTuber. Okay, I don't think that I've, I, I, I popped out of nowhere. I'm a South African. I'm here. Access to the internet. We can say anything at any time. I can say something different tomorrow. It's not a matter of popping out of nowhere, but okay. Okay. 
Olani Ari, she spoke facts. Oksalayo, what her previous profession was is neither here nor there. Um, okay, it's a lot. I'm just going to conclude now. B. Lolo says, so you no longer support prostitutes. You are trying to degrade her on a profession Julius and Naledi Chiria advocated for in Winnie Mandela's grave. Prostitutes got brains too. Yes, prostitutes got brains too. You're right, B. Original Zanzi Nato says, I also wondered upon reading the tweet. Lisa defends herself by saying, if you read again, you will find that I'm not insulting YouTube or prostitution. I am just insulting this lady. <laughs> That's not what she said. I'm just reading between the lines. Cognizant says, prostitute or not, she spoke the truth to power and came across smarter than any FF member I've heard speak. Lisa says she's Echoing the sentiments of the highest bidder as always. Um, this is her again trying to say that I've been bought, I think. Bala says, EFF loves prostitute jobs. Don't degrade her because of job title. Respect her and her client <laughs> and her clients. Maybe some of EFF leaderships are giving her money. Abed Negro says, Julius, he's a former ANC corrupt and uneducated politi politician, but we don't judge him. Woke Exorcist says, when you can't handle her facts, then you insult. Zianda says, what is wrong in being a prostitute? That is what EFF is campaigning for. Julius Malema once got tenders illegal in Limpopo and built collapsing bridges and injured people. Maybe that's what we should be talking about. Lira SA says, what you're saying about this lady is nonsense and absolute lies. Go do your own research and see exactly what it is you're supporting the truth is a bitter pull to swallow especially to loyal blind followers like you but no need to stoop as low as making up lies about her absolutely like if you're not if you're going to be a blind follower right don't stoop down to this level we understand we understand that you are there and you're committed and you've given your life and you don't want to hear anything negative about your leader but choose to maybe don't watch what I say, don't follow me, don't subscribe to my channel, stay away, and but don't don't lie, don't lie, you know, just don't lie. Black Suspects, I don't know her, but she's not speaking ill, she's telling the truth about the doomed EFF. Thanks, Black Suspect. Patriot says, people are entitled to their own political views. You EFF people are intolerant. You say you're here for freedom, yet when we are exercising our freedom, and, it, and simply because our way of exercising freedom and what we say as we exercise our freedom doesn't sit well with you, then you want to do this. Come on, come on. Okay, someone says people are hungry. They can do anything to feed their stomach. Most hungry stomachs will emerge due to 2024 elections. There's going to be smear campaign led left, right, center by this demagogues. Just so we're clear, I'm not here to bring smear campaigns. I'm here as a South African, a very concerned citizen of South Africa, who is seeing that a lot of people are believing in lies. They are believing in propaganda. They are believing in things simply because some people who are speaking confidently and loudly have said it right? A lot of people are not taking the time to watch the news, to do research, to check what history has to say about what is happening in our nation. And for that reason, they are very, uh, they are in a position that makes them very gullible and vulnerable. And that will lead them to voting for people that are going to take South Africa even lower than where it is right now. I am not sure smear campaigning as you're suggesting here i'm here trying to educate my fellow citizens on the truth so that they are able to go to the polls next year with an understanding of the past the present and the future an understanding that will ensure that they do not vote based on their emotions they do not vote based on what somebody else has said to them but they vote with knowledge with understanding with intellect because ignorant citizens vote for rubbish politicians steve says yeah that makes sense now she's broke broken and someone told her if you want to be popular attack eff and you will get you will get likes followers and what surprises me is anc government 
all the problems country is facing caused by it and no one blames it except EFF. This EFF that, yeah, young, poor blacks. Okay, so first of all, um, let's forget the broken and all of that because that's, un yeah, that's, that's something else. Um, let's talk about the ANC. The first videos that I did here were about the ANC and none of you did any of that. None of you said any of what you're saying. And that speaks to the types of people I think that are following the EFF. ANC people did come and say their comments, yeah, but no one tried to do silly things like this, right? I spoke about the ANC. You can go down, see the other videos that I started with and see how I, I spoke about the ministers of ANC, how I spoke about how the ANC has let us down in allowing our buildings to be um, not only uh, hijacked, but vandalized, you know? I'm not even going to justify it. But all I'm saying is that I have spoken about the ANC and I intend on speaking about the ANC. It just so happens that the EFF has so much for people to talk about and it's clear that it doesn't sit well with you. It's clear that you're unwilling to listen and evaluate and be honest with yourself. Um, instead, this is the route that you choose to take. There's nothing about re-victimizing EFF or poor what what that you said here. Huli says, you can learn a lot from her. At least she has got an objective analysis about Julius Malema of a subjective opinion about him. Thank you so much. If she was a prostitute and EFF member um, standing, you would have been praising her. True. Let her speak her mind. She tells the facts, though. That's true. You know, you support people based on their affiliation with you, not because of what they're saying. And that is so, so unfortunate. Guys, there's so many comments here, so, so many, and I can't get through all of them. You can go and see Lisa's post to see all of them. I honestly don't agree with her content, but I've known Katla Mwahi for 13 years. This is the person I went to university with. She's definitely not a prostitute. She graduated from University of Johannesburg and built a career as an engineer. This is a lie. Thank you so much, Takalo. And it's true, we don't agree on, uh, he's an EFF supporter, not like Lisa, but he is an EFF supporter. And we talk about it. He has come onto the channel and he has commented disagreeing with me, but in a respectful way. And we do that on WhatsApp as well. Um, yeah, so I appreciate such. Somebody says, the jealousy in this post, you can almost taste it. We're going to stop there on the comments. A lot of these comments, have given me hope guys we are here and we are not taking nonsense this time around fight for our country guys let's fight for this country i know that i've been keeping it strictly business and i'm sorry most of you don't even know my name <laughs> My name is Katlaro Bernice Moari. I am a quality assurance manager at a marketing company. I was raised by a single mother along with my three brothers. I went to the University of Johannesburg where I got my Bachelor of Technology in Engineering Metallurgy. I am happily married and have two sons. And yeah, now you know who I am. <laughs> and for the record, I am not a prostitute and I've never been one, just in case you haven't caught on yet. You guys are fighting the good fight. You're sharing the content far and wide. And the truth is starting to hurt the comrades. They hate us for exposing their lies, but keep sharing, keep spreading the message. The ANC and the EFF must fall. The coming elections should be on everyone's mind for the next six months, guys. Let the coming elections be a trending topic for the next six months. Let that be the conversations we have on the dinner table, when we bry, when we have lunch, when we go shopping, when we share stuff on our Instagram stories, go to church or have drinks with our friends. South Africa is waking up. In all my life, I've never seen anyone from the ANC or DA do something like this. But there is one party that I've always known was capable of doing this, and it is the EFF, unfortunately. This is what we mean when we say that these people are dangerous. Masters of conspiracy theories. <laughs> like... Who knew that such a story could be, you know, created out of thin air like that? 
Anyway, I've accepted it. We are at war and the comrades are desperate. Thank you for everything. Keep sharing. Don't stop the fight until we cross the finish line. This is Citizen Concerned and you have been warned. Beware of the comrades.